welcome to our first episode of the Rams. Rams for life. And today we're going to talk about some Los Angeles Rams football. For those of you who do not know, I have been a Rams fan for life. It has been a lifetime of following the Rams. But of course, from Southern California, you follow the Lakers, the Kings, the Angels, the Dodgers, all the different sports. However, however, this year, I totally went all in on the Rams. The Rams have been a top favorite of mine for many years. I'm here in the Philippines and I was able to subscribe to the NFL live stream games. So I've been watching all the games all year long and they've been fantastic. Totally addicted to football. So we're going to do a show about the Rams. <laughs> The Rams this year, they went 12 and 5 and won the most difficult division in the whole NFL. I must say that winning the division was a little luck. They lost their final game to the 49ers and the Cardinals lost. Last week was the first wild card playoff game. It was good. The Rams were seated in the fourth spot at home at SoFi, and then the Cardinals were ranked five, so they were the visiting team. And the Rams just totally handled the Cardinals. They wasted those guys. advance to the second round of the playoffs which is in another day the Rams play in just another day and who do they play they travel the number Three, two seed the Tampa two, Bay Buccaneers one. Tampa Bay has one of the most gifted the GOAT the greatest player of all time that's Tom Brady he quarterback at age 44 he's still competing at the highest level and the Rams come in with their awesome defense led by Aaron Donald Floyd Gaines Vaughn Miller is great and then they have Jalen Ramsey in the back they got a good team the Rams we have an Aaron Donald shirt right now and the Rams are very very good now the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are no slouches either. They are the defending world champions. The world champion. So is it fitting for the Rams to have to go to Tampa Bay? Goal! On the road and then play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Rams are no slouches either. They're led by the quarterback, Matthew Stafford. And they have Cam Akers. They have 
Sony Michelle in the backfield. They have Cooper Cup, the Triple Crown Award winner. And receiving. And they have OBJ. They have Jefferson. They have quite the core of receivers. So it's gonna be a matchup in a day or so at Tampa Bay. And we're predicting the Rams to take this one. The Rams are like a three point underdog. However, they're saying the books will probably change to even, which is probably about the right thing. The Rams are just awesome this year. They're 12 and five, like we mentioned. They have a good solid team. And the main thing about the playoffs is, is that as you get into the playoffs, it's about momentum. The Rams have momentum. The San Francisco 49ers, the nemesis of the Rams, they have the momentum. They're playing Green Bay tomorrow, tonight. They're playing. And if the 49ers win, the Rams win, they play at SoFi next week for the championship game of the NFC. <laughs>